these three days of uh, the science exhibition here, we hope will be enriching and enjoying. And each one of us, the faculty, the students, the exhibitors, and the exhibits, is going to decimate a lot of information. And I'm sure <coughs> all of us will return more knowledgeable. CBSE has been taking up projects so that the children of today who are the, our future are better prepared and well capable to face the challenges that lie ahead. I'm very happy Mr. Burma was talking about scientific attitude, scientific temper. I'll speak a few words about scientific temper and perhaps if I explain that to you, my job of coming here to inspire you would be over. Will the Arduino circuit work? This this thing works by thrusting out water from behind behind its end. So when, when there is a thrust of water, turbines work when they when they rotate. So this thrust of water can move the turbine, which will be placed behind it. So it can in, generate some electricity for its moving forward. So the school will be CDA color. So what is your model about? From Vikas Residential School, Bhubaneswar. We are here with our project, which is based upon hydraulics and it is following the principle of Pascal law. The best part of our project is these three humps which will show you various ways of getting resources. Alarm ...to the civilians as well as the soldiers so that they could be alerted and come to the borderline. This is a spine robot designed by us with special spine techniques, innovative ideas and a high efficient technology. Approximately two point something volts. Means approximately three. Actually, this is a system that can be used in rural houses. It is very cost effective. Mina and Sri Lalit Kumar Kapil. The title of the exhibit was Technology in High Speed Transportation. Participants are Arnav Mishra and Tanmay Panigrahi.